Well, um, when I came here six years ago, I came straight from Cuba to Canada and straight to Duncan. And um, I heard about CIS because a friend of mine through the church, he said to me, well, you got to go to that place because these people will help you to learn how to speak English and they will help you also how to uh, be introduced to the Canadian culture, how to know about Duncan, how to know about the community system and all things related to your new life in Canada. So um, I just came here and I said, well, I was happy that it was for free. That was very important because when you're an immigrant, um, you start from scratch and it's, it's, it's very nice to be able to feel welcomed by a place and a number of people who are really awesome here. And, um, and, and that's the way I came and they welcomed me, me and um, it was very special. Well, the very first thing I did was um, taking the ELSA class, uh, which is a kind of a English as a second language class. Um, the teacher was Ilona, and uh, it was a class, it's, it, it was a mixed class, people from China, from Korea, from, um, there was a Mexican lady or a Colombian lady also, so I could talk a little bit of Spanish once in a while and uh, Japanese people and it was not only teaching us a little bit of English and all of us were almost zero in, in the language and um, not only was teaching us English but also teaching, uh, teaching us how to um, go by in this place because it's, it's a new culture it's for me it was a new weather <laughs> it was a very important thing and um, they would teach us everything about our new life in, in here in Canada so the very first thing I did was taking the ELSA class um, but after a couple months in here um, at the time they didn't have to many levels for English classes, so um, when I went through those levels, um, the teacher suggested me to take another course. They suggested me to go to uh, VAU, and I took English 12. First, I thought to take it as a, just a student audit in the class, but the teacher said to me, no, no, you're, you're good to go, you can take it seriously and get the credit for that class. And so, because of that, I also took my English 12 at VAU after the suggestion from this uh, CIS place. Then they also helped me out to get through another course of English that I did um, at UVic in Victoria, but I didn't have the finances to go and take that course. So through the Skill Connects, there was a program at that time um, that CIS led me uh, to, and they also gave me some financial aid on that. CIS also helped me out on the resume, uh, because uh, in my country we don't need a resume when you have to be uh, employed or, or hired by any employer. So I had no idea what the resume was, and um, these people here, uh, Michelle, especially Michelle, she said to me, oh, I'm going to help you on that. So we did it together. She was amazed how many things I could say about myself and I didn't know that I could say those things. So also questions about uh, immigration, how to get some paperwork done and um, how to find a job, how to approach an, a, a job interview, interview um, things like uh, supporting you, like encouraging you all the time. These people always available for any question you have, anything that you need as a as a newcomer. It's 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 huge the job these guys do for um, people like me who come here knowing nothing, and uh, you get to know almost everything through them. 
I think this is the toughest question I've ever been asked, but um, it is very difficult for me to give only one word to describe what CIS means to me. But if I could mention, because if I need to say only one word, I would say trust. This is a place that I, I don't think it's only me. I think it, 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 it's valid for every immigrant, every new person that comes to Duncan. The Caution Intercultural Society means trust. People feel welcomed here. People feel like you are very sure that anytime you need them, they will be there for you. They will never turn you back. They will always give you advice. They are going to be there for you. So trust. And to me, at least personally, I, I think that when you find a place, a new, a new, I think when you find a new place to live and you don't know that place can be scary and uh, makes you nervous, especially when you have to learn everything about it. You move from a country to a different country, new culture, new language, new system. Everything is new and these guys, they are just there for you. Anything you need, they are there. And if they don't know the answer for your question, or for your thing, they will figure out for you. 